everyone hope you all are doing well and staying safe welcome to today's session on android framework components today we will be seeing what are the different adb commands which are used to manage the wifi networking in android when we connect our android device to our uh, laptop and through command prompt what are the different commands which will be useful to trace the wifi network actions we will see today so let's get started The first command I wanted to show you all is about the ping. We all know, right, whenever our device is connected to network. Uh, so here I'm checking the ADB devices. Uh, my device is connected to my laptop and I'm just giving the ping www.google.com. That means my uh, device now tries to connect to the Google. And we can see the packets flow here. So pinging www.google.com and the reply time, how many bytes, all the statistics, how many packets are sent, how many packets are received, how many packets are lost, all that we will come to know. And the actual time also, minimum time, maximum time, average time, duration, these parts also. So basically want, what I wanted to tell you all is ping will tell you whether your device can reach some destination IP address or domain name. And if it can reach, it will tell you how long it will take the data to travel there and back again to check if your network is working basically this ping is used commonly everywhere okay your ping www.blue.google.com if we are seeing if my device is reaching out to this particular website if so it is reaching then what is the time it is taking to reach there that was about the ping command Let's move on to our next command. So next is a tracert command which I wanted to tell you all, T-R-A-C-E-R-T. -E this is basically a trace route. It will send out data a packet as a way to troubleshoot any network issues you might have okay if you have any network issues in order to troubleshoot uh, here i've given google spelling wrong so we have to give it as e in order to troubleshoot the packets whichever uh, network issues whenever we have that time we basically use this trace suit so uh, but it instead tracks the root of the packet as it hops from server to server so uh, to reach the google.com from one server to another server it will keep hopping for example see here from one it tried to reach some server request is timed out so in order to finally reach the destination it went to this particular ip address 165.255 and then from there it went to another 125 ip address so it will perform hop to hop traverse so tracert command is basically used if we want to uh, troubleshoot any network issues which we might be having So complete, uh, finally trace is complete after nine hops. After nine hops, we are finally reaching the google.com. So two commands we saw, ping and tracert. Let's move on to our third command. Third command I wanted to show you all is path ping. Okay, when this path ping is used, path ping uh, followed by www.google.com, it's a path ping is again similar to tracert fine except it's more informative and takes a lot longer to execute this path ping and tracert will be uh, almost similar but path ping will take a longer time to execute after sending out packets uh, from you to a given destination it will analyze the route taken and computes packet loss on per hop basis so here we are just in tracert we are just seeing how the hops are done but in path ping it will tell us how many packets Packets are lost in every, each and every hop. It will give us more information and it will take more time to execute. Here, for example, I'm giving path ping www.google.com uh, again. You can see tracing route to www.google.com, which has the IP address of 142.250. 
and over a maximum of 30 hops okay from this uh, LAN it's computing the statistics and it's seeing how many hops 30 hops are there how many packets are lost all those things it is seeing so this is my source and this is my destination okay so with that uh, let's move to our next command before that I'll clear my screen if config sorry I, it's actually IP config if config is used in Linux so most of you all know the use of this it will show us the uh, different uh, information the IP address IPv4 IPv6 subnet mask the default gateway address all such information it will basically uh, show us most of the time we use this command to get to know what IP address we are connected to next we will go to uh, get mac command that is which is uh, uh, helping us to get the mac uh, mac address of our uh, device okay so every device that are compliant with ieee 802 standards has a unique mac address so that mac address is basically obtained using this get mac command the manufacturer assigns MAC address and stores them in device hardware. Some people uh, use MAC address to limit which devices can connect to network. So we can see based on the MAC address which devices can connect to network and which cannot connect to network. So MAC address we basically get using the get MAC command. We'll move on to our next command. NS lookup. NS lookup is name server lookup which I wanted to tell you all so its main use is finding out the IP address behind a certain domain name so for example here I'm giving NS lookup uh, www.google.com but I don't know what is the IP address behind this domain name so here we'll come to know IP address for that google.com uh, is 142.250.77.164 basically if we give some name i mean some website name if you want to know the uh, ip address that time uh, this ns lookup command will uh, help us name server lookup when we are troubleshooting the issues this will be basically of useful next command netstat command we will see So netstat is a tool for network statistics diagnostics. This netstat command is there no it will show us all the active connections on your system whether those connections are on LAN or across the internet. So you can see all the active connections I can uh, get to know if I use this netstat command be it local address foreign address or the time anything for that matter. Uh, netstat is basically useful to regular users for its ability to show port information and that can come in handy when you need to forward the ports next we'll see net yeah so net sh as i was telling it's a network shell and it's uh, basically used to um, view all the wireless network drivers on your system and their properties in simple terms right uh, all the wireless network drivers on your system and their different properties we can uh, use this netstat command if you use this netstat slash followed by question mark all the commands which you can use along with nets as such will be listed out one by one it will be listed out here I'm basically using another command uh, net sh wlan how sorry show drivers right so if I give show drivers it will basically list all the uh, driver interface names okay different uh, cipher suits all those things it will list here using this show drivers command apart from this if you want more details then we can use adb shell dumpsys wi-fi command to basically collect the more details about 
the Wi-Fi related networking operations if you are debugging any network related issues so here I'm collecting the dumpses and I'm opening this file where I've stored my dumpses if we go here we can see um, different uh, options which will basically help us to uh, solve any Wi-Fi related uh, issues it will give how many packets are sent, what is the IP address we are trying to contact, how many packets are received, the total count and the time exactly what's happening. So once you replicate the issue and if you take this logs, it will definitely be uh, of very usefulness uh, to solve any network or Wi-Fi related issues. You all can get all the details in this uh, Wi-Fi dumpses. different IP configurations, the proxy settings, uh, the different Wi-Fi managers, all this information will basically uh, get in this Wi-Fi dumpses. So yeah, I wanted to show you all uh, this one today in today's session. Uh, like when we connect our device to ADB shell, what are the different commands we can execute through this command prompt in order to get the different Wi-Fi uh, networking related information from our uh, device. I hope uh, you all understood this session and I hope it was helpful and informative. Thanks everyone again for watching. I'll see you all soon in my next session. Until then, everyone take care. Bye.